they'll be disappointed. You see, that's a, it's a sub-belief on the way down to who I am, my identity, right? Yeah. So let's deal with that one. They'll be disappointed because that's a big one for our, our kids. That's a big one for our kids. So we need to answer right. that. Somebody who, who I believe has expectations on me, parents, coaches. Right. If I don't meet their expectations, they will be disappointed. What's our antidote for that? Well, when they're, dis they're disappointed with, with you or for yes. not, not in you. Yeah. Now, that works great for the coaches and parents, right. but how about this business scenario? It doesn't work so well there, right? right. No. Yep. Good job for pulling that out. I'm still not going to hire you. <laughs> right. It's like, oh, it's too bad. We would have liked working with him. <laughs> yep. Exactly. Exactly. But see, what it, it's what he makes it mean. We all, well, you guys, right. whenever you want to formulate an angel, what does it mean? In fact, you guys can just ask him these. You can just ask him. Just ask him, what does that mean to you? Yeah. If this, if X, Y, Z happens, what does that mean? Well, it means uh, they'll be disappointed. Okay, what does that mean? What does that mean? And see what you get and try to antidote things along the way. I mean, you know, as I've just reminded you, the bottom line is, you know, identity. Yeah. But we want to tackle the things along the way and zap them along the way, on the way down the rabbit hole. I just made up this rabbit hole metaphor. Maybe I said right. it once before, but yeah. yeah, I think it works. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, partially uh, in, in his situation, probably it's, well, if I don't get this, if I don't hit, what is it, an interview or a presentation? What is it for? Interview. Yeah, interview. He's, wants to be a produ he's trying to be a production manager for... So it's an interview for a job. Yeah. Right. So people in that situation might think, it, and this is kind of like doing a tryout for a, a team, right. same kind of thing, right? Audition, yeah. So... If I don't make this unconsciously, they think that means I won't make anything. I can't get a job. I'm not good enough to get a job. I'm not good enough to make this team being more specific. Up, right. We're a little bit up the rabbit hole, right? Yeah. And that's where you deadly accurate truth that. So if an interviewer for you, you want to go for a particular job and an interviewer does not choose you, what does that mean? They unconsciously think it means I'm not good enough for this job. No, that's not true. What is the truth? They have that the interviewer has certain values and things that they're looking for that you don't match up with their value. That they just they're, they're, they don't. Coincide. And only according to his opinion. Only according to his opinion, and he's not, he has gotten other jobs. He has got other, he has matched up. You know, those are have, he's worked out with other people. And so you just need to find the right person to work with. And, and it's, it's even more, uh, uh, there's even more truth. It's entirely possible, this could help him. It's entirely possible that he is a match for this job. It's entirely, and this, and this HR guy or whoever's interviewing him right. is a moron and can't see it. Yeah, that's good. See how that relates to a coach? not yeah. choosing you, a coach not playing you. Yeah. It could very well be the absolute truth. Michael Jordan is the perfect story for that. You have the talent. You, you are a perfect match for this job, but you got a dude who woke up on the bad side of the, his bed today and you just happened to get your interview on that day with him. Yeah. Or he's a complete moron, doesn't belong in his position and does not know how to evaluate talent. That's yeah. where I use, I also use uh, through the out, evaluate talent, talent, I use the Joe Montana story. Three quarterbacks were, well, this is American football. Joe Montana is, was named by ESPN as athlete of the 20th century. Not just best quarterback in his sport, athlete of the 20th century and the story is that he was passed up for three other quarterbacks in the draft he was drafted 81st if the people whose number one job and millions of dollars are, are at stake tens hundreds of millions of dollars are at stake 
at evaluating talent, and these people get it wrong. Huh. I wonder if maybe your coach isn't the best evaluator of talent on the planet. And even the best I, get it wrong. Yeah. yeah. I mean, so, more so recent, that, all that, the Tom Brady one's even a more recent. There you go. Next round pick. I like the Joe Montana one because you get to say athlete of um, the century. Yeah. <laughs> get, you know, extreme contrast. Yeah. <laughs> the more extreme you can get, the more it makes your point. Yeah. But Tom Brady's pretty extreme as far as, yeah, missing on, right? He, yeah, yeah, he was. He was passed over in college, and we sat the bench and all that stuff. And yep. Well, Portland's uh, the Portland Trail Blazers still get ridiculed every year during draft week because they passed up Jordan. That's right. That's right. Somebody else who only lasted a year or two and was good. It would be great to have a story like that for every sport. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For that particular kid's sport. Yep. So, yep, same thing he can apply to his interview. Yeah. Well, with him, you know, Steven Spielberg was almost laughed out of Hollywood because he had, they, they thought he just had some, he had crazy ideas and couldn't do, and he was on the verge of being completely washed out. That's right. That's right. Yeah, J.K. Rowling, Harry Potter, yeah. turned down by 12 publishers. You think the people who their entire livelihood is at stake, millions and millions of dollars at stake, and they passed on who's now the most successful child author on planet Earth. Yeah. Huh. I wonder if maybe your interviewer uh, is a little bit less imperfect. Yeah. So, yeah, it's fact that we run into people like that who, um, who get to choose, who get to make choices with regards to how we're going to interact. True. It, but it doesn't mean anything other than that. Yeah. And they make it mean something, which then generates the fear of the bad thing that they're, they make it mean if the bad thing were to happen, which then, triggers emotions and they're scared to death of those emotions on top of it. 